three, two, one. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday, our second show of 2021. Steph and myself, happy to be here with all of you. Today's show brought to you by Freisinger Hyundai, right on the price, right on the pike. We are inside the American Shaman PA studio. Steph, I was thinking about making people wait the entire show and doing the contest announcement at the end, but that's that's mean, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, we're not. No, nope. We're going to do it now. We are going to do the contest announcement right now. We teased it yesterday, you know, been kind of talking about it all weekend. It's finally time to let the cat out of the bag. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Next week, Steph and myself will be giving away a PlayStation 5. Woo! I'll put it on screen right now. It's the PlayStation 5 bundle that includes two controllers, a month subscription to the PlayStation Now, and the Spider-Man Miles Morales game. These are very hard to come by. Apparently. I don't know a lot about video games, but this is like, is this a brand new system? It's a brand new system. People are still clamoring for it even after the holidays. I got my hands on one, and we're giving it away next week. More details will follow later in the week on how to win. Um, but next week we will be giving away a brand new PlayStation 5. I'm excited about that. I didn't even, I didn't know there was that many PlayStations. <laughs> I don't follow video game stuff. So when you told me about it, I was like, there's five of them. <laughs> cool. Okay. I guess it's just like cell phones. I just keep making oh, absolutely. new ones. Only they don't, they don't come out as often as cell phones. So, you know, there's almost a new iPhone every year. Right. PlayStations. It's like every six years. Okay. And now... This is probably a dumb question, but if you have a game that works on the PlayStation 2 or 3 or 4, does it also work on the 5, or do you have to get specific games there, for it? Steph, it's not a dumb question. Okay, thank you. Um, there's something called backwards compatibility. Oh, gosh. And okay. it's up in the air. I think PlayStation 4 games will work. I don't know how far back it goes. I don't think PlayStation 1 games. I might be wrong. There might be somebody in the comments telling me I'm an idiot. Of course they work. Don't be stupid, buff. Um, but ba I know back in the day, that was actually a pretty big controversy because like PlayStation 3 would come out and you couldn't play the PlayStation 2 games. Right. And people were mad. Like, I got to buy a whole new console for all this stuff. Um, I think they've solved it a little bit. I think you can play PlayStation 4. You just can't go really deep. You can't play like 12 year old games. Okay. But more recent games you should be able you to. Should be okay. Able to. And, I, and again, I might be wrong. And someone might be typing in the comments angrily. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, you need to hear nor there. We're giving away one of the hottest items of the holiday season. Still hard to find. If you go to Target right now, there is not a PlayStation 5 on the shelf. Wow. You cannot get it. It is tough. I didn't realize this was such a hot commod. It is. It is. So next week, we'll be giving away PlayStation 5 bundle, two controllers, a month subscription to PlayStation Now, and the Spider-Man Miles Morales game. Again, we will tell you how to win. Go over all that stuff later in the week. <laughs> Here is the uh, an unintended consequence of the lockdown. And then we're talking just New York City here. When you go to New York City... I don't know how many times... Have you been up there, like, in the last few years or whatever? Um, it was probably three, four years ago for okay. Christmas. Okay. If you walk around, like, Central Park in New York City, like it or not, there's tons of people who are eating, and sometimes they litter, sometimes they drop food on the ground, and that's where the squirrels come in, right? Squirrels love human beings because we drop food. Right. And they love our food. Here's the problem. There's nobody in the parks right now. Or there's a lot less than there used to be. Right, because of COVID. So the squirrels are getting, like, aggressive. Oh, they're probably so hungry. The aggressive <laughs> squirrel attacks have increased dramatically over the last few weeks. One victim, Michelle Frederick, said a squirrel totally unprovoked went after her as she stood on the front stoop of her home. What? It latched onto her hand, wouldn't let go. She has graphic photos that she shared of, like, the squirrel attack on her hand. They're actually, like, attacking people. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Residents who've been bitten are undergoing rabies treatment. Victims say uh, they've called the city Department of Health, which advised them to hire a state-licensed trapper, which they have, but so far the traps are remaining empty. The squirrels are too smart for that. 
they are just attacking people. Like they probably attacked her hand, thinking there might be food that she right, would drop. Right, right. Because they've seen people drop food time and time again, and the squirrels usually pounce on said food. And yeah. Oh, you know, I kind of feel bad for them. If they were used to getting food that way and now it's just not there, they're probably starving. Super aggressive, like, aggro squirrels. You have to, like, squirrels, you got to learn how to fend for yourself. It's time to grow up. (laughs) But, you know, they've never had to. They've just been kind of used to getting, like, people littering or, you know, dropping food. But I had no idea that squirrels could be so aggressive. To me, like, the squirrels in my yard, if you even, like, come towards the door, they run away. Right, you breathe in their direction. They're out. Right. Plus, you have dogs, so I'm sure that that, they don't love that. They do not. Yeah, but, no, you don't have a dog around, and they think you have a hot dog in your hand, they're going after your hand. Wow. Multiple, unprovoked, aggressive squirrel attacks. (laughs) It's really sad. Welcome to 2021. (laughs) We're here, everybody. I got COVID from a squirrel. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Uh, I don't know if you heard about this. Girl Scouts are in a recruitment war with the Boy Scouts. So last year, Boy Scouts opened its troops to girls. I, I don't know if we talked about this or not. I think we might have. And we're like, okay, whatever. But now, just like I said was going to happen, nobody wants to be in Girl Scouts. Everyone wants to be in the Boy Scouts. All the girls want to be Boy Scouts? Yes. Because they didn't call, I think they just call them Scouts now or something like that. That's what I was going to ask. Do the girls then become Boy Scouts or are they just girls who are part of the Boy Scouts? I think they're just Scouts. Just Scouts. Okay. Yeah. Uh, The Girl Scouts are suing the Boy Scouts. They want the Boy Scouts to stop using the word Scouts in scouting in its recruitment of girls. Oh my gosh. So now they're fighting. All right. So here's the thing. This is what I say to Girl Scouts. You gotta change with the times, ladies. I'm sorry. If the Boy Scouts or Scouts or whatever, I don't I think there's actually a full name, I don't even know what it is. If they're seen as the cool club and you want people to join your club instead of the cool club, be maybe a little bit more like the cool club because what you're not what you're doing now is not working. Right. Right? So if they have badges for camping or fishing or whatever, you need to offer that too. Do all the stuff you normally do in the Girl Scouts, you know, with the cookies and, and, oh, the, and cookies, yeah. the baking and the sewing. Guess what? I'm th- pretty sure there's sewing on Boy Scouts, too. They have, I think they have like a sewing merit badge. So that, I mean, that's something that they thought that they could offer that you offered. And so they, you know, they adapted with the times. Adapt or die. Girl Scouts, you're kind of seen as like the lesser of the two Scouts. I'm Are so, they? I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. You are. You got the cookies and that's it. They do got the cookies, though. The cookies? That's a big upper hand. They, they, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. You know, they way overcharge you for the cookies and their pyramid scheme, whatever that is. But And I'm all for it. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> keep dumping them in my mouth. It's all good. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you could tell me those cookies were made by little Cambodian children who don't get paid anything. I'd be like, they're delicious. Yeah, though. I'd still be eating those Thin Mints. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, I'm sorry, and this might be an unpopular opinion. Make yourself a little bit more like Boy Scouts. Not a lot. Don't completely lose your identity. But offer certain things that are maybe the most popular things that Boy Scouts do. And say, hey, you could still do the Girl Scouts. We offer that too. I think that's the problem is that people are so afraid to change. So then they just go, you have to change because it's hurting me. I don't have to change anything I'm doing. You, the Boy Scouts, you have to change because what you're doing hurts me. Me, 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 me. Right. And you know what? I think that boy, girl, whatever scouts are something that's a little bit more traditional. You know, as like in the world we live in, it's more about like social media and video games and all this stuff. I think they're trying to stick with the traditional like camping and doing things out in the wilderness and all those kind of badges. So maybe they don't want to change. But my question is... Are the girls allowing boys to join the Girl Scouts? I have no idea. Because if not, maybe they need to open that door because there might be boys who are interested and then maybe it can all balance out and they can all just go wherever they want. I don't know if it would balance out. I don't, I don't think it would. I think there are way more girls that want to be part of the Boy Scouts than Boy Scouts that want to be part of the Girl Scouts. But there might and be here's some. The thing. I've done zero, zero research on any of this. Same. Any question you're asking me, I'm not answering, really. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So there might already be answers to some of these questions that we just don't know. And, right. You know, maybe someone's telling us about them. Hopefully it's the same guy that was yelling at us or yelling at me for getting PlayStation 5 facts wrong. Um, but all I'm saying is that maybe it's not the 
Boy Scouts problem. Maybe it's a you problem. And you have to change the way you do things in order to attract the, the, the demographic you want to attract. Companies do it all the time. Businesses do it all the time. They change what they offer. They change their services. Heck, from the time we started this podcast to now, I think I've changed the position statement three or four times. I think I changed our goals five or six times. You know, our business model, I think I've changed at least twice because I saw what was working, I saw what wasn't, and I adapted. Same thing has to, it can't just be, you're doing something that affects me, so I'm gonna sue you to make sure that it doesn't work. Right. Can't be like that. Right. What are you, what, what are you teaching the girls out there? That if they're failing in life, it's because of somebody else's problem, not theirs? I think that the, I think they need to add a bunch of new and exciting things. Yeah, I would love to, to see. attract everybody. Girl Scouts, go bake some cookies and do some archery. Yeah, yeah add it, new activities. Absolutely. You know how cool it would be to bake a cake and then shoot it? Right, right. <laughs> we're going to bake a cake today. We're going to decorate it nice. Then we're going to put it on a target. And we're going to shoot it with a bow and arrow. Right, it's the best of both worlds. I would sign up for that. I'm a 37-year-old man. Right, is there an age limit? I don't know. I'd probably be weird. <laughs> I am on, I'm in the brownies. They made me start at the lowest level. <laughs> All right. Uh, coming up in just a couple of minutes, Steph and I talk about our favorite thing, food. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. Freisinger Hyundai, a refreshingly different car buying experience. Freisinger Hyundai dedicates itself to customer satisfaction. From the initial sale to the maintenance you'll need during the life of the vehicle, Freisinger Hyundai treats you like family. Check out their large selection of both the latest Hyundai lineup to certified pre-owned and used vehicles. Come see how Freisinger Hyundai drives the difference and tailors the purchase process to your needs. Right on the price, right on the pike. Freisinger Hyundai, 6115 Carlisle Pike Mechanicsburg, 717 766 8422. During this time, many are out of work and struggling just to get by. It's good to know that your friends at Capital City Buy and Sell in Harrisburg have your back. If you're in need of extra help during the pandemic, you can pawn or sell unwanted or unneeded items that you may have laying around your house, including jewelry, electronics, tools, musical instruments, and a whole lot more. Capital City Buy and Sell is open seven days a week, and they're always paying cash. Plus, they have low pawn interest and terms if you aren't quite ready to say goodbye to your item just yet. Capital City Buy and Sell, 3517 Walnut Street, Harrisburg. Online at harrisburgpapawn.com. Great news, everyone. American Shaman of PA's doors are back open for normal operations, and they're ready to bring you the much-needed relief that you've been waiting for. They care about their customers, and their customers keep coming back for more. Steve K says, American Shaman products drastically decrease my back pain and relieve my stress in just one month. Thank you. Stop by your local American Shaman of PA store for a free CBD sparkling water and free samples. Find their locations and more at HempusHealth.com. Do you love saving money but hate buying one of those coupon books filled with places you'll never go to? Well, here comes Quick Save Coupons to save the day. Quick Save Coupons is an app where you can find savings for restaurants, stores, and experiences that you will love. And here's the best part. It's free. No big coupon books to buy, no websites to give your information to. Quick Save Coupons will show you all of the savings in your area right on your phone. Just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the Quick Save Coupons app. Then start saving money on many of the places you already go to. Now back to the Puff and Steph podcast. All right, Steph, you ready to talk about some food? Uh, yes, always. Okay. According to food experts, these are some of the most popular food trends coming in 2021. Ooh, new trends. Right, so you can be ahead of the game. Yes. Right, we're only a few days into the year. Probably none of these are sticking yet. Maybe they're not even a thing yet. But we can be ahead of the curve and be like, oh, we talked about that in early January. The word immune will be popping up more, as in immune-boosting food. Companies will be incorporating ingredients like vitamin C, mushrooms, uh, and other things. I can't even read this word, so I'm not going to try. Oh, I got it. No, adaptogens. Adaptogens? Is that a new thing? I've never heard of it. (laughs) Adaptogens, as they uh, say, to support the immune system. Makes a lot of sense. Pretty smart. Right. Like... I'm fine. I don't need to wear a mask. I take adaptogens. <laughs> right. Do those come in different flavors or like, how does that work? I don't know. Oh, this is grape adapt- adaptogen. <laughs> <laughs> More food calling itself plant-based as opposed to cow-based. Nobody, no, I know food is called cow-based or meat, meat-based. I don't know. 
I don't know. I see the plant-based stuff. Right. That doesn't, you know, that doesn't really attract me. No, but it is. It's very trendy. It's like it's the super vegan, trendy. like yeah. non-GMO, cage-free. I tell you, the wife is, you know, I told you, and we've talked about this. I, I'm very open about her battle with vegetarianism. <laughs> um, she'll rock a, a, a Impossible Burger at Burger King. She likes those. And I'm just like, here's the thing. She's not a vegetarian because of animals. Don't get me wrong. She's not like, I don't care at all about animals. She's, she's, she doesn't really like the taste of like beef and chicken and stuff. I'm like, well, babe, the, the Impossible Whopper is supposed to take, taste just like meat. That's what I was going to say. So why don't you just try the meat? Right. And she's like, no. I go, all right, I'm done trying to, <laughs> I'm, I'm done trying to. It's long. Right. I don't know. Well, because people who do eat meat have tried the Impossible Burger and said that it tastes just like a regular right. burger. Right. 100%. That's interesting. It is interesting. Yeah. Uh, more people eating breakfast and a return to the popularity of cereal, although new cereals will be healthier with high protein and sugar-free options. I can get behind that. I love cereal. More fermented foods like kombucha and pickles. Kombucha is expensive. I don't, and I love pickles. I'm all about that. Yeah, I don't like pickles. Oh, I know. Um, I know. And I don't like the word fermented. <laughs> so you're just turned off by the whole thing? Yep. You don't yep. like that word? Chickpeas will be the food of the year in 2021. Everything from pasta to dessert, it's vegan, super versatile, and high in fiber. Chickpeas. Look out. If you could buy stock in chickpeas. <laughs> Do that. Do it now. I do like hummus, which comes go. from chickpeas. Absolutely. The flavor of coffee is finding its way into more and more foods. So you're going to have coffee flavored whatever. That's always a basic white girl favorite. Like right. coffee flavored anything. So those are your food trends of 2021. Is there any of these you're excited about? The chickpea thing. You know, I've gotten in the like organic non-GMO whatever section of the grocery store. I've gotten like chickpea snacks before, but they're always so expensive. Right. Um, but I do like hummus, and I like that taste, so I could get behind that. Mm -hmm. I'm not into any of this stuff. That doesn't surprise me. Why? Because, like, avocado toast, like, those kind of trends you've always kind of just laughed about. I don't like avocados, really. Right. Like, a so, lot of those trends have just never really been up your alley. That's not I, a bad thing. I, I have gone to Starbucks to try some of their secret trendy drinks. Right. I've done, I've done that, like, twice. Um, I don't mind hummus, but I'm not, like... Chickpea crazy. Although, if you've ever had fried chickpeas, they're delicious. Oh. Yep. That Fr sounds good. Fry them up, a little barbecue seasoning on them. Really? Oh, they're fantastic. Did you make them? Maybe. Like a, couple, like a year ago or something. Wow. I'm ahead of the curve on all this stuff. That's why, that's why I'm not interested in this, because I've already done this stuff. Wow. You're so trendy. I Bob. was kombuched out in 2009, <laughs> before, before anyone even knew what it was. You I'm, beat us I'm, to I'm it. I'm just kidding. That stuff's gross. Well, I, you know, I haven't really drank that much of it. My friend Elizabeth makes it, and I just wouldn't even know how to do that. And then if you try to buy it, it's so expensive. Yeah, it's gross. It's all gross. Elizabeth's gross. Everything's gross. <laughs> Stop it. How dare you? <laughs> Every, everything is gross. It's just, no, I'm not interested at all. Um, I'm sure a lot of fathers have wanted to do this, but this guy just said, screw it. I'm going for it. A Portuguese man was left standing at the altar after his bride-to-be was reportedly locked up in her room by her father who opposed the wedding. What? Yeah. She was locked away in the tower like Princess Fiona? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, while the groom and guests and both families waited at the church, the bride's father used a shotgun to prevent her from leaving her room. Police were called. Dad was arrested. They ended up getting married. Okay. Huge, huge hole in his strategy. Are you going to shoot your daughter? Right. What was his plan? Like, I'm holding her hostage by shotgun. So you would rather shoot her than let her get married to this guy. It's also, and this is not going to make you happy. Oh, here we go. This is also a little bit of the bride's fault. Oh, my gosh. No. Oh, it's all her no, fault, I, right? Did I say all? Did I not just say it's a little bit of the bride's let's, fault? Okay, let's hear it. Why? Call your dad's bluff, lady. He was outside your room with a shotgun and you just, well, my dad is going to kill me if I leave this room. <laughs> really? He doesn't like who you're marrying. He's trying to protect you. Do you really think 
he's going to shoot you. Well, maybe he's a little crazy and I mean, she obviously, didn't know. Obviously, he's a little crazy. So maybe she was worried, like, would he actually shoot me in the moment? <laughs> like in the you, foot or something that's not going to kill her? <laughs> you know, just slow her down. Just shoot her in the foot. <laughs> I'm going to get blood all over her dress. She's definitely not going to want to take pictures and stuff. It's going to be bloody foot. Um, listen, I'm not saying that it's 50-50. I'm not saying it's 60-40. I'm not even saying it's 90-10. I'm just saying that it's like maybe 1 or one, one to 5% her fault. I think she maybe had a little bit of cold feet and was using that as an excuse to continue to think. You really think your dad, who's trying to protect you from a guy that he doesn't want you to marry, is going to shoot you rather than let you marry him? No. Well, you know, thinking of it from a female's point of view, you know, we have emotions and all these feelings and stuff. So I'm, no. I'm thinking of it from her point of view. She might have just been like, like plain worked up about the whole thing. Like if I was supposed to marry someone and I was really excited about it and my dad was holding me hostage with a shotgun, even if I didn't think he'd really shoot me, I think it would probably ruin the day for me. And I'd probably, I mean, I would be a mess. So you don't think you'd get married? I mean, I would still want to, but that really puts a damper on the whole best day of your life thing, you know? <laughs> it's a good story to tell the kids one day, how come we never met Grandpa? Well, he was going to shoot me, so he'll probably shoot you little jerks too. <laughs> Coming up in just a couple of minutes, maybe just get to know your surgeon a little bit before he does that thing. It's the Puff and Steph Podcast. Freisinger Hyundai, a refreshingly different car buying experience. Freisinger Hyundai dedicates itself to customer satisfaction. From the initial sale to the maintenance you'll need during the life of the vehicle, Freisinger Hyundai treats you like family. Check out their large selection of both the latest Hyundai lineup to certified pre-owned and used vehicles. Come see how Freisinger Hyundai drives the difference and tailors the purchase process to your needs. Right on the price, right on the pike. Freisinger Hyundai, 6115 Carlisle Pike Mechanicsburg, 717 766 8422. During this time, many are out of work and struggling just to get by. It's good to know that your friends at Capital City Buy and Sell in Harrisburg have your back. If you're in need of extra help during the pandemic, you can pawn or sell unwanted or unneeded items that you may have laying around your house, including jewelry, electronics, tools, musical instruments, and a whole lot more. Capital City Buy and Sell is open seven days a week, and they're always paying cash. Plus, they have low pawn interest and terms if you aren't quite ready to say goodbye to your item just yet. Capital City Buy and Sell, 3517 Walnut Street, Harrisburg. Online at harrisburgpapawn.com. Great news, everyone. American Shaman of PA's doors are back open for normal operations, and they're ready to bring you the much-needed relief that you've been waiting for. They care about their customers, and their customers keep coming back for more. Steve K says, American Shaman products drastically decrease my back pain and relieve my stress in just one month. Thank you. Stop by your local American Shaman of PA store for a free CBD sparkling water and free samples. Find their locations and more at HempusHealth.com. Do you love saving money but hate buying one of those coupon books filled with places you'll never go to? Well, here comes Quick Save Coupons to save the day. Quick Save Coupons is an app where you can find savings for restaurants, stores, and experiences that you will love. And here's the best part. It's free. No big coupon books to buy. No websites to give your information to. Quick Save Coupons will show you all of the savings in your area right on your phone. Just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the Quick Save Coupons app. Then start saving money on many of the places you already go to. Now back to the Puff and Steph podcast. This is very, very interesting. I don't, I don't expect to get surgery anytime soon. So this is something that's going to have to go into the bank as something I remember for down the road when I do get surgery on something one day, perhaps. There's a new study that th throws some serious support behind the idea that no one should work on their birthday. Researchers at UCLA say... Older patients who undergo emergency surgery on their surgeon's birthday are more likely to die within a month than others who have had the same or similar procedures on what? different days. What? Who does this study? Like, uh, where do you even think Here's the thing. It's UCLA, right? It's a college. So I'm assuming, not knowing a whole lot, I just kind of get the overview. I don't have like the in-depth report on the study, but... Um, when you're in college and you have to write a paper, you have to do a research paper. I mean, you went through school, you try to find something interesting. Depending on who the professor is in this class, who knows, I mean, what's left to study? 
they have to try to find some, I mean, this is a, this is a college that has a research paper that has now made national news. It's an interesting topic. Right. It is. So maybe you're trying to kind of find your niche with your, with your research. That's where research like this, studies like this comes into play. That makes sense. You know, you're trying to find something that is interesting. You're trying to find something that maybe might give you a little bit of notoriety. Come to find out among surgery patients over the age of 65, mortality rates were 23% higher among those who were treated on their surgeon's birthday. Wow. So the surgeon's really kind of just not putting a lot of effort in. Yeah, so let's say you do something crazy like accidentally stick your hand in a wood chipper or something or, you know, shark attack or whatever. Of course you're going to bring up shark stuff, attack. Stuff that would happen here in Central PA. Um, get run over by a horse and buggy. Uh, <laughs> and you have to go into surgery. And as they're wheeling you in and they got the oxygen mask over your face and they're like, just breathe deep or whatever. And you just look up and go... When's your birthday? He's like, oh, that's funny you ask. It's today. Can we get someone else to do this, please? <laughs> <laughs> Can we reschedule this for another day? So is it just, you know, where do you think this comes from? Is it like the doctor has something going on later that day, later that night, and he's his mind is there or her mind is there? Uh, is it maybe they partied last night? I mean, obviously there's certain ethics and codes and things that that doctors have to follow, uh, but they're human beings. You know, is it their mind is elsewhere? Oh, I Probably. Want, I wonder what my spouse got me for my birthday as they're cutting you open and doing doctor <laughs> they're things. They're not really paying that much attention right. to your organs. Right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 right. You know what? I think also maybe they like tried to take off but got called in. And they're upset. Maybe so they're, they're gonna annoyed. they're going to take it out on you. <laughs> like, I shouldn't be working today. <laughs> so I had I'm plans. Cutting you out. I can't believe that Terry <laughs> took off. He knew it was my birthday. I was going to put in for this, but he did it. He knew. I mean, Terry knew. Terry knew it was my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you, like, ripping somebody open and taking <laughs> yes. things out? Yeah. Yes. It was very good miming, I think. It was good. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what the answer is. It's interesting, though. Their mind must just be elsewhere. They're not as focused. I mean, it's got to be something for it to be that wide of a discrepancy. If it was 1%, 2 3%, probably wouldn't even be talked about. We probably right. would never heard of it. Right. But it's 23% higher. Yeah, that's a pretty big number. Within a month. Wow. So check with your surgeon yeah. on when his Just birthday is. Just ask when their birthday is. And if they ask why, be like, oh, I like to give all my surgeons presents. <laughs> so I just want to add you to my surgeon birthday list. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> just don't, don't mention that you heard on a podcast that they're about to kill you if it's their birthday. Right. Just, just wow. know that you have a 1 in 365 chance that it's their birthday. That's true. It's a very slim chance. It is. But if you get that one where it's like, it's crazy that you ask because it's my birthday. I'm going to die. I'm going <laughs> to die. This is it. Tell my, tell my kids I love them. <laughs> All right. Time to stump Steph. More than a quarter of the water that is used in households is used to do this. Showering. No. Dishes. No. Drinking. No. Is it cleaning something? Nope. I mean, not really. You might call me out on this later, but not really. What uses a bunch of water in the house? The hose. Oh, nope. You stopped the music because you thought I was going to get it. I did. <laughs> Does it start with the? <laughs> sure. Because I said the hose oh, and you yeah. like you were like, oh. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it definitely starts with the. The dog. A quarter <laughs> of the water that is used in households is used on the dog? Yeah. Zoe's always thirsty. She drinks a lot. A She thinks she drinks a quarter <laughs> of the water. No, what probably not. What uses a lot of water in your house? The hot water heater. No. Not the shower. Right. Not washing your hands. Correct. Not doing dishes. Correct. Not drinking. Correct. What else uses? This is, I feel dumb. The washing machine. Ah, uh, no. Oh, you got me so <laughs> excited. No, it's literally going to be the last thing you say that uses water in the house. Right, because I'm not going to keep guessing after I get the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <maybe. laughs> um, something that uses water and it's not cleaning the toilet. There we go. A quarter. Wow. 
There we you never go. think about how much water you're using. I didn't know if you could count that as cleaning because you're like kind of washing the waste away. I don't know how that works. Right, no. No, I think you were right by saying it's not really cleaning. Okay. The average household throws away 41 pounds of this each year. Um, is it food? No. Is it some kind of paper product? Yes. Plates, paper plates. 41 pounds of paper plates? <laughs> That's a lot. No, that's not right. It's a lot of paper plates. Plastic silverware. <laughs> In the same breath as 41 pounds of plastic plates or paper plates, you think it's 41 pounds of paper or plastic silverware? Maybe. No. People don't like to do dishes. No, it's not that. Is it in the kitchen? I mean, it can be. Is it like, but is it like standardly? No. I standardly? Mean, eh, I don't think it's a word. It depends. But uh, it depends. Because normally it depends on how you have your house set up. It depends what you. Paper do. towels. No, it depends what you do with this thing or these things when you get them. You said it's a paper product? Yeah. When you get them. Um, is it used for cleaning? No. Do you use it in the bathroom? Nope. Um, it's not like paper towels, toilet paper, no. tissues. Nope. That would be a lot of tissues. <laughs> be a ton of tissues, yeah. Of tissues. Oh, this is hard. Um, sticky notes. <gasps> no. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? Sticky notes. Is it some kind of office product? Not really, no. It's just something that we get and we find no use for, so it goes in the trash. Well, what is the original original purpose for it? Um, that'll give it away. It's not cleaning. That's no, not get cleaning out of your mind. It has nothing to do with cleaning. It has nothing to do with eating. It has nothing to do with anything. It could go in the kitchen, maybe a dining room, maybe the living room. I don't know. Placemats. No, it depends on where you... <laughs> 41 pounds of placement. It depends on what you do when you get, how your house is set up. When you get this thing that most of the time you don't want. Oh, junk mail. There we go. I just had to, I had to give you something. Yeah, I needed this that. This was going to go on for a minute. It wasn't the easiest thing, so I'm not going to like pick on you too much. All right, friends. Um, in case you missed it, we made a big announcement early in the show that we're going to be giving away a PlayStation 5 bundle next week. Uh, that includes two controllers. That includes the Spider-Man uh, Miles Morales game. Also includes a month subscription to PlayStation Now. More details to come throughout the week. We will start it next week. We cannot wait to give this away. It's going to be fantastic. Like I said, more details coming up in uh, the days following. But uh, until then, you guys have yourself a fantastic Tuesday. Talk to you later. It's the Puffin Steph Podcast. 